watch the Purdue game, do you have any thought in your mind that um, a year from now I could be there? No, but it was always a dream of mine to play in March Madness. Yes, I watch it every year. Um, when I was a kid, I used to watch it during gym class at school. Uh, so it's always been a dream of mine to be able to play here. But uh, I did not think I would be in this position a year ago. You didn't watch Friends of the Um, No, I didn't watch it. I got the notifications, like the ESPN notifications. Yeah. So I got those notifications. Um, obviously, there's a lot of... A lot of noise around the 16 being the one team, yeah. so I got those little pictures and saw that. Um, is your dad with you in a way? Of course, of course. Uh, he may not be here physically, but he's definitely here with me. Um, so yeah, that's how I look at it. How much would, would you like for him to be able to see this? What, oh, what your life and your dreams? Yeah, I would, I would, I would love. I would love for him to be able to hear. I would love for him to be able to be here to see this. Um, I mean, it would mean the world to him. Uh, you know, he's just supported me my whole life in basketball, um, and he prayed for me and you know, hoped for me to be in this position growing up. And uh, you know, if he had ever got the opportunity to watch me play and in the Elite Eight to to have a chance to go to the Final Four. It would just mean everything. When I lost my dad, I could still hear his voice. For yeah. Months. Still hear Yeah, for sure. You know, I um I have a, a close friend on Michigan, um, and when I came on my uh, visit here, um, he called my my friend's dad uh, and left him a voicemail. So I still have that voicemail uh, that I can listen to and hear his voice. Um, I mean, I see him every day. He's my lock screen. Um, and yeah, you know, sometimes I just go through our pictures together. Yep. It works. Lance going off that, what would he say? What would he say? Uh, that he's proud of me. Um, yeah, I think that that's the main thing, that he's proud of me uh, for everything that I've accomplished. Um, I mean, there's been times where I could have gave up. Uh, you know, after I lost my you know, my best friend in 2020, um, I could have I gave up, but, you know, I persevered. Um, so, yeah, I would just say that uh, he would say that he's proud of me. For you to be this close to a Final Four, just what are the emotions like right now? Uh, you know, I'm, try I'm trying to bottle them in. The emotions are definitely there, though. Um, I mean, we're so close. We're really close. Um, but, you know, I don't want to get too high and I don't want to get too low. I just want to stay even kill. Um, still got another 40. Still got another 40 minutes to, uh, to get to that point. When were people, some of your teammates accused by you as I'll for you yeah. When you got here, could you sense that this program needed a little of that? Um, I didn't know what the program needed specifically, but I knew they needed something. And I guess my inner self kind of just absorbed what it was, and it just brought out a you know a joyfulness and a, and a happiness. Tennessee, sim are you guys expecting the same type of game as I know there were fifty one fouls. I'm, I'm assuming there'll be fewer this game, correct? Yeah, yeah. Just because uh, you know it's that time of the month or that time of the year where. Uh, you know, the refs play, let us play a little bit more. Um, and I mean, the, you know, the games don't, they don't want the games to be decided by, you know, a lot of fouls. Um, what a chance to obviously go to the Final Four. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be more physical, uh, but with less foul calls, in my opinion. You, you've gotten to know Matt Painter this season. He's yeah. never made it to the Final Four. How much do you guys want to just win it for him? Uh, I think everybody in the locker room, including myself, wants to win it for him, for the university for the past players. Um, I mean, it would just mean a lot. Uh, I mean, he's one of the, the best coaches in the country. Um, you know, he's been fighting so hard to get over that hump. Um, and I think it would mean just a lot for him to you know, be able to do it, especially with this group that has been with him, uh, especially for Zach that has been with him. Uh, so it would mean a lot. How's he impacted you? Uh, he's impacted me in a great way. Uh, you know, he's always been there for me. Um, He's helped me build my confidence. Uh, obviously, moving from the mid-major level to the high-major level, uh, you know, like you said, in there every, every player, you know, fights that doubt. Um, so there was times where I, you know, I would doubt myself and you know, ask myself if this is the right move for me. So I would fight the adversity with myself. Um, but he's always been there to you know, uh, help me and you know, uh, pick up my confidence. Is, is Connect somebody going to in your eyesight tomorrow? Is Connect from a defending him? Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, definitely. 
You know, he's a, he's a dangerous player. He's an All-American. Um, you know, he's made a great impression, you know, with his, this year being with uh, Tennessee. Um, so, yeah, you know, I'm definitely going to be guarding him a little bit. I'm going to be guarding Ziegler. Um, so, yeah. How, how much, what have you seen different in Connect's game as opposed to what happened in Hawaii? Um, I think he's, I think his confidence is just through the roof right now. Uh, I think he has a mentality with the intent to kill anybody that's in front of him. Um, I mean, he's had, what, multiple 40-point games this year? I mean, that's, that's just, I don't know, you can't even, you can't, I can't even put any words out how incredible that is. Um, I mean, he's a great player, uh, so yeah. And so, Matt drops a lot of knowledge, a lot of information on you guys, like, all day. How much can you possibly process and retain of, I mean, he's just barrage of information all day, yeah. all hours of the day, yeah. stories, offense yeah. like running in his head. How much do you honestly uh, retain? A lot of it, I mean, yeah, Coach Paint, he has a motor and he goes, he goes, he goes. <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of it goes over my head, but there's, <laughs> there's, there's the other coaches, you know, break it down in, in the simpler terms. Um, and they make it easier for all of us. Uh, and with him being my, my coach for one year, I mean, there's a lot of things that he say that, you know, don't make sense to me uh, just because of what I was used to the past four years. But uh, the assistant coaches, they help. Does